get down to business? I'm good, fam. <laughs> Watch out. We're coming in hot with some pretty spectacular stories of success. They think their mom is YouTube famous. <laughs> Here at Good to Know, we're in the business of spreading positive news. And these entrepreneurs from across the country are here to inspire you with their creative self-made company. It's your kitchen. Do what you want. We've got everything from rage rooms. The real me coming out to start smashing everything, breaking stuff, throw it, and tell it powderize. The number one thing that we hear coming out is, I didn't know I needed that. To holy breweries. These statues are, I think, imported from Italy. So we have our sinner and our saint. Come discover how these talented people are turning their passions into booming businesses that are making a difference. I just wanted a dog creation of me. We really want society in the world to know that our boys are joy, um, that they aren't mean and they aren't bad, but they are joy. We love our boys and we want to send that message to everyone. And welcome to the most positive show on TV. I'm your host, Michelle Macaluso, and this is Good to Know. You know, it's one of those things where you drive down the street and people just smile. She woke up from her dream and instantly started working. We wanted to give him that gift. It's a new year, there's new beginnings. It has allowed me to see things in a much brighter light, if you will, or a colorful world. I mean, it was really good for my journey, too, of just being able to put into action what I wanted to be about and, and who I wanted to be. It's just much more of a special story. We are here, we are here to be a staple for the community, and I don't foresee us going anywhere anytime soon. If you've ever wanted to follow your passion and start your own business, now is the time to make a plan. And this Texas man started something awesome, and you can too. Robert Valdez, the best tank troop first sergeant out there, will lead your day at this family-run paintball battlefield. He retired from the Army and had a second career in law enforcement. He became familiar with these British-made mini-tanks that were used in air shows in England. I talked to Paul and my other buddy, buddy uh, Eric, and we said, can we convert this to paintball? And they said, sure, we can do that, and that's how it, it began. He was initially looking for retirement property, but after finding the land in Heiko, his plan changed. I wasn't thinking about paintball at all at that point, but uh, that's where afterwards it was like, hey, I can do it here. And now there are three different battlefields to choose from. First one is a, a Fury. That one is, a, we do a, a defense and an offense, where you, and then they switch roles where the Germans uh, do defense and the Americans attack. And then we go over to Bell of the Bulge, and that's more like a free-for-all. It's more, it's actually a search, a search and destroy mission where just like a Battle of the Bulge where the two, two armies were just uh, confronted each other and battled it out. And then Vietnam, Vietnam is more of a foot uh, paintball where you're not on the tanks, but you're in regular infantry like you're in Vietnam. You'll be outfitted in protective gear, including a helmet and neck protection. You'll want to wear long sleeves and closed-toed shoes. Now I'm ready for battle. <laughs> this is for all ages. The oldest veteran it was a 78-year-old veteran that came out here. And, uh, he was uh, actually had his son and his grandson that they were battling with. I've had, had bachelor parties. Uh, birthday parties, uh, I even had a divorce party. There are a few rules you're told to follow, but has anybody gotten hurt doing this? No, nobody, you, can, you really can't get hurt other than a little, a little black uh, blue, blue mark or red mark or whatever because uh, they shot themselves a little close. Pack a picnic lunch, make a day of it, and you can BYOB, but no drinking before the battle. Bring a change of clothes because you will get pain over it. Chris 
Berry works as a security specialist in Detroit, and even with a super demanding job, the 30-year-old manages to stay calm most days thanks to his belief in an important philosophy. Don't take your problems from home to work and vice versa. That's why to blow off steam, Chris rocks up to escape room zone in Madison Heights twice a month. In their rage room experience, Chris gears up in a protective suit, lays his selection of items, grabs his weapon of choice, and then... The real me coming out is to start smashing everything, breaking stuff, throw it, and tell it powderizes. The manager of the facility, Carrie Katz, says the concept, which was first introduced to Michigan by them five years ago, continues to be a hit as it attracts a variety of people. Couples, you know, their marriages, their relationships saved in here because uh, they just work out all their stress, all their anxieties with each other. The number one thing that we hear coming out is, I didn't know I needed that. A licensed counselor, Kelly Hausman, says rage rooms have therapeutic effects for some as it helps to express anger in a healthy way. The past two years have been really stressful and heavy for everyone. If you can have a fun night out and get some of that emotion out, it's a great thing for anyone. As for the smashable items, Carrie has a dedicated team working around the clock to source the collection. Printers seem to be a big hit, uh, probably because of the movie Office Space. Um, I would say TVs, we get all ranges of TVs, and then uh, laptops seem to fly off the shelves pretty quickly. For some, de-stressing is all about having a good meal while others prefer an intense workout. But for Chris, it's all about swinging a baseball bat. It has allowed me to see things in a much brighter light, if you will, or colorful world. I'm always all about anything that can kind of help you express your emotions, whether it's in a therapy session or in a rage room. Wow, from tanks to rage rooms to dolls and gnomes, we've got our bases covered today. Demetrius Davis is nine now and the CEO of his own company, our Brown Boy Joy. It was his idea to make plush toys that look like him. Imagine that conversation. I just wanted a doll creation of me. I was actually in the midst of creating girl dolls. Mom, why aren't you doing anything for boys? Had a dream. She woke up from her dream and instantly started working. And we saw nothing on the shelves that looked like my son. Now they do, all thanks to Demetrius. This is Denim, and then this is Demetrius. Oh, little D. It was Demetrius who had the vision. Plush dolls that looked like him. Simple. Right down to the Timberland boots and the hoodies. I was really impressed by that because I actually was going to put the doll in a cardigan sweater because I'm like, he needs to look smart. And he was like, no, Ma, I want him to wear a hoodie. Promoting self-esteem because, again, this all came from a place of inclusion. So kids like Demetrius could see kids like Demetrius. Some of my friends say, wow, that's so cool. And then on the other hand... My friends are like, oh, that's okay. We really want society in the world to know that our boys are joy, um, that they aren't mean and they aren't bad, but they are joy. We love our boys and we want to send that message to everyone. And with another goal of growing the business even bigger, here's another message. Yeah, I want to make a fortune out of this business. Enchanted Forest. It sure looks like it, but 52 Freckles is actually a home-based business where Sarah Christensen creates cuteness for anyone looking for woolly whimsy, both big and small. The large holiday gnomes are 100% upcycled. Sarah has been filling homes with gnomes since 2007 while raising her four kids. We just started at a school carnival. Somebody said to me, you should, you should sell that stuff. And so I was like, oh, okay, we'll try that out. <laughs> Sarah took her sewing skills and things grew and grew from there. We used to do little tiny stuffies and now we do a little bit bigger stuffies, but they're still for kids. A lot of people love this gray curly beard. She makes hundreds of handmade gnomes, all shapes, all sizes, all out of sweaters and felt. We kind of hit the thrift stores all winter long stocking up for the following year. Currently, 52 Freckles is in full no mode. And I tell my husband every year though, I do tend to get a lot less sleep 
during this time of year. Winter is certainly her busy season, but these little woodland creatures are a big hit no matter the weather. It is a year round thing. Feel inspired yet? We have more amazing entrepreneurs to meet. And we're gonna take you on a tour of the holiest brewery in California. The stained glass that's like lit from behind, that was custom made for us. These statues are, I think, imported from Italy. So we have our sinner and our saint. Come see how people are turning their passions into reality. It's good to know.